Bulgaria changed government, thankfully, in 1989. Um, we were living in dire socialist regime, very much under the control of the Soviet, the then Soviet Union. And in 1995, we sent applications for the green card lottery. And my then husband won immediately. I moved here originally in 92. I became a legal alien in October. I actually got my green card in October. Initially, you know, straight to New York, and then I probably, I probably moved to Kentucky four months in, five months in, and moved to Kentucky, which everyone always goes, why would you move to Kentucky? I kind of, I, I, I felt that actually I, would, I was, I felt more at home there than I did in New York, also because I'd, you know, grown up on a farm. So it was kind of interesting, and it was, um, it was an adventure, and I ended up staying there a lot longer than... I ever thought I would. I mean, I was there in all close to, I mean, it was probably close to seven to ten years. I'm not happy to take for saying anything. Being here really, I risk everything. I risk my life. I risk the well being of my family. I risk to lose everything. I got here actually, to be sad, 15 years ago. Back then, I was like 13. I don't want to come first place. Anyways, I didn't really care those days to come over. I was excited to see what was seen here, what was so different from Mexico. If I can really adapt in here, uh, let's give it a try, you know? Um, it's funny. Uh, I, cross, I crossed the wall, you know, big, huge. Um, metal fence, I closed it and I was on the other side. I was like, damn, this is being in the United States, so easy, you know? It was hard though, it was hard, I mean, but finally I, I made it to, in, to the United States. Our experience here in America, it, it, it kind of started hard. It, it wasn't always, you know, a walk in the park, but the United States has always treated us compassionately, kindly, and it has given us so much freedom and so much choice and so many opportunities to pick our experiences from that um, at this point, I can only say beautiful things about this country because this is our new home and we're all citizens now and, and we're ecstatic about it. You know, if you came up with an idea and you said, you know, I want to but, you know, I want to tie a rope from that house to that house, and I reckon in about two weeks I can walk across it. Out here, someone will go, hey, that's a great idea. Yeah, maybe we can film it. And, and maybe, um, you know, well, why did we uh, do this? To, you, know, you know, and there's a, there's a yes atmosphere here. No, I love it, as, as in, I, I love the States. When it comes to where we live, you know, right now, it's, yeah, we love it here. Great friends, great band. No, as far as living America, definitely. Um, no plans to move abroad. When I got to Los Angeles, it was funny. It was the first thing that I told my mom was like, you brought me to this shed home. I mean, if you go to downtown Los Angeles, it's been the same way that it is right now. It's been forever like that. Full of people that fought in Vietnam and they were not recognized by their own government. Full of homeless. So here we go, here, here I am in America, trying to get the American dream. An American dream that didn't belong to me, it belonged to my parents, to my mom, but somehow it was part of it. And that's how it started. For us, it was like someone rolled a beautiful, huge red carpet. Here, everything is smooth, easy going, you get personalized service. The interview at the United States consulate was pleasant. Um, the consulate representative was a very pleasant lady, and it all happened in a very nice atmosphere, very comfortable for me and for the kids. 
we said hi and she said, you know, congratulations, welcome to the United States. And then uh, I swore the oath and she said, okay, so we're all said and done. And I felt kind of, kind of disappointed. <laughs> and Starla, I'm like, aren't you going to interview us? And she said, I just did. I, I met an American lady and we fell in love and got married. So, you know, it's a, it worked out perfectly. So, you know, when we went in for the interview and we had Wilder, the greatest thing was my wife started answering the question, you know, my questions. So the guy looked at me and was like, okay, I know you guys are married. Your wife's answering, you know, she's not letting you talk. Well, unfortunately, it's, not, it's no steps to take right now in order for me to become legal. The only one chance that I see is to marry that game. In my point of view, everything is right for the fact that I've been working so many years in here. I have a pull to the society, to the government, to the economy. Why I have to keep paying my taxes and I have the full benefits as, I, as another citizen? If I was paying the same amount of the, that anybody else being legally here, why not be treated the same? But I couldn't, I, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't move back even if you gave me, if you gave me a million dollars. I wouldn't move back there. I prefer the life out here. I prefer, sorry, English folk. I prefer the enthusiasm and the hope and the, the possibilities out here. I experience freedom here. I feel free. Like, I open my arms wide and I feel free. There is something for everyone here. I don't have the same freedom that I have there. That I, that I, have. I wish I could have the same opportunities that other people have in here. I wish I could be more free. American dream means nothing to me. The only reason that I'm here is because I have kids. I have kids that are American citizens. And <laughs> I have to support them. I'm not naive enough to think that it actually happens the possibilities happen for everybody. You know, I think, I think it's, it's definitely a, um, it is obtainable, but like anything else in life, some people, you know, are hard done by and fall at the last hurdle or, um, you know, it's as part of life. I mean, yes, I think it is, basically I think yes, it, the American dream is, is definitely obtainable. We only call it the American dream because the United States is the leader in this. But it's very human, it's very universal. A lot of people think that the American dream is to come and become rich and, and this country will give us everything. That's bullshit. This country will not give us anything for free. And whoever say, oh, this country has given me so much and I don't talk that much to that country is a lie. You work for what you have. For what you want. I'm sure there is an English dream. It's not part of my. It's not something that I strive for. To be honest, I don't even know what it is. I come from England. I don't even know what the English dream is. <laughs> um, now I'll stick with the American dream. I think. Danke.